Hi, I'm Heather Rowley, and I'm the Supervising Veterinarian for Captive Animal Law Enforcement at the PETA Foundation. Today, I'm going to be speaking with you about giraffes. Giraffes are iconic animals of the African savanna. In the wild, giraffes would roam over vast distances of up to 2,000 kilometers. As the tallest animal on the planet, giraffes spend over half of their day feeding on a wide variety of leaves, shoots, and fruits from the tallest trees in the savanna that other animals cannot reach. Giraffes are far more social than previously thought. They have a complex society where individuals are often found within herds, and those herds are connected to a much larger social community. Giraffes don't randomly associate with other giraffes, as was once previously thought, but instead, they move between groups with intention and form long-term associations that are often tied to kinship. In captivity, giraffes are sometimes transported around the country to fairs and other events. These animals are often housed alone or within constrained social groups, artificially composed by people. This social stress or deprivation can have serious implications for a giraffe's emotional health. Transporting a giraffe is a dangerous and expensive affair, requiring specialized equipment and expertise. Transport exposes the animals to life-threatening hazards, temperature extremes, and stress. Injuries during transport are not uncommon, and illness can result from exposures during transport. Having a giraffe at a fair is dangerous for both their health and welfare. The stress that these delicate animals experience can cause abnormal behaviors such as excessive pacing. Unattended feedings, which commonly occur at petting zoo type fair exhibits, can cause life-threatening nutritional and gastrointestinal diseases. Giraffes are timid animals who are easily startled by loud noises and unfamiliar environments. When startled or threatened, a giraffe's instinct is to flee from danger. Fleeing on the African savanna is a survival strategy, but in captivity, fleeing all too often leads to impact with a fence or other physical hazard in their enclosure. This, combined with their incredibly long and delicate necks and legs, leaves captive giraffes particularly vulnerable to fatal injuries, including broken necks. Put an end to the exploitation of giraffes by refusing to visit fairs and other events that feature giraffes. You can make a difference for these animals by educating others and writing to event venues to ask them never to host wild animals.